Hello everyone. A new tool just arrived at the Spastec tool shed and I'd just like to tell you a little bit about it. Um, it's the Freedom K64F uh, development board by Freescale. And uh, so let me, uh, first of all, let me uh, tell you why, uh, why I bought it. Um, in, uh, it, first of all, it's, uh, it has a free and very easy to use tool chain or actually there's more than one. Uh, the one I'm probably going to use the most uh, is Kinetis Design Studio uh, and I'll, I'll abbreviate that in the future uh, with uh, KDS and uh, that that includes uh, something called Processor Expert that uh, we'll get into in future videos that makes, uh, makes the setup uh, just very simple point-and-click type uh, type setup for all your real low-level code and it also has a, a board support package that is um, made for this specific board not just the processor but the, the board itself um, there's also it's uh, embed enabled uh, which is an internet based uh, uh, development environment where you can go online and develop your code and compile it online and then you can just kind of drag and drop it onto the device like it was a mass storage device and that's actually how it behaves so that's another option uh, we're probably going to use the Kinetis Design Studio the most here in, in our videos here um, it also has a lot of features a USB Ethernet can uh, at least I've see, uh, I see that the CAN pins are, there's a one CAN channel that's brought out to the pins. We'll see how, uh, how that works. Uh, accelerometer, magnetometer. Uh, magnetometer is basically a, a digital compass, uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, has lots of GPIO brought out and uh, also a micro SD slot. Um, another big feature is it's a major brand, uh, Freescale. Uh, they're a uh, major, major uh, supplier for uh, uh, automotive and other uh, uh, electronics. Uh, it has an affordable price, uh, about $35, uh, depending where you get it from. Uh, I think I paid just, just right around $35 for mine. Uh, and also, it's uh, pretty small and light, which uh, I'll get into in the uh, the in a minute here uh, and one of the things that I really like about uh, I, I guess most of uh, Freescale's uh, product line is they they do a really great job on the documentation uh, when you get into uh, when you get into your project and you need to do something and uh, you're following the, the documentation and it doesn't work it's there's nothing to be more frustrating and uh, and I found that most of the time the free scale documentation is pretty free of errors I've uh, I haven't run into many cases where there was a uh, uh, something that was just blatantly wrong it's uh, it's it's obvious to me that they take the time to verify and validate uh, the documentation that they put out and uh, so that, that makes a huge difference to me um, so here we get, got a couple pictures and this uh, picture on the left here is this is me opening the box for the first time that's uh, that's how it will arrive and uh, one thing to note is the freedom boards uh, don't come with any uh, uh, cables or anything so uh, at a minimum to use this you're going to need a micro uh, USB uh, cord and uh, that's that's uh, if you have a phone other than an iPhone, you probably have one of those, or if you're, uh, you you probably have one of those laying around. But if you don't, if you don't have a micro USB cord, you'll need to get one. And so uh, I guess that's probably one of the ways they keep the cost down on these things. Um, and I like to weigh everything. Um, I've uh, been involved with uh, aviation all my life, and uh, I like to know how much stuff weighs because. Uh, when it comes to things that fly, I'm not saying I'm going to fly this, but when it comes to the things that fly, if you throw it up in the air and it comes back down, it's too heavy. So I like to know how much things weigh, and uh, 36 grams is not too bad. Um, so 
All right. Uh, one thing also, um, it does on this in this card here. It comes with uh, a, a little cheat sheet and what all the GPIO are and where they're at and some of the where where some of the things are located. But there, there, there's there. This is this is all. It's in the box right here. Um, they they for more information, we need to go to go to the site right here. And if you just put in freescale.com forward slash and then frdm k64 uh that will have a uh, a wealth of information there and uh so that's what we're going to do next so when you go to that website that's that's uh, on the uh, box for your freedom uh, k64 f um it'll take you here uh and uh here uh, i'll want you to Go ahead and, and download a few things to get familiar with this thing uh, before we get started into uh, you know, playing with it. Um, let me show you what those are real quick. Uh, so it's actually, let's see, I think it's five downloads here. Uh, there is a, an Excel spreadsheet that gives you uh, pinouts. There's a schematic. There's a quick, uh, a quick start package, which includes a quick start guide. Uh, there is the user guide for the board, and then there is the data sheet for the uh, processor. Um, so I'll just show you where to get those real quick. Uh, let's start from. Let's start here. Um, I think you can actually get most of it right here. Uh, so there is the Excel spreadsheet right there the, for the, the package for the uh, pinouts. And uh, if we go over here and click on this right here, this will take us to this page where we can get the data sheet for the processor. And you can open this up and take a look and see what's 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 included in that uh, data sheet. And it's this one right here. Uh, some of the other documents you'll find that this is the processor we have. So you click on this data sheet, download that. And uh, here's the schematic. Grab the schematic. You always need a schematic. And let's see, it's right here. And download this quick start package. Now, inside this quick start package, I have some homework for you. Um, you want to open up this right here. And I already have it open. And that is a quick start guide. Uh, at a minimum, before my next video, uh, at least look over this. And there is a, uh, it, it also gives you some of the same things I just told you to download. And uh, there's a section here, right here. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a quick tutorial that they give uh, for getting started with it, just to kind of a, as a demo. And uh, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to, and you can too, and in the next video we'll come back and uh, um, actually uh, go grab Kinetis Design Studio as well, uh, so you can, there's the uh, the web address for that, uh, because I if, if this goes real well, uh, I'm probably going to skip over it, uh, I, you know, I think uh, Freescale probably does pretty good job of guiding you through it and I don't need to do that um, but uh, and go ahead and install Kinesis Design Studio and then we'll uh, uh, we'll get it started on our first project in the next video if you like this video please click like it motivates me to make other videos just like it if you want to find out when I post more videos please subscribe you can also read about uh, completed projects on our website spastech.net or spastech.com. On our website we include details of how we did some of the projects that are on these videos and some of the source code that uh, you can use uh, yourself as much as you like. If you want to track progress of projects we have going on step by step, be sure to check out our pages on Twitter and on Facebook.